Hey guys, welcome to this new Authority Hacker video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create free blog cover images that actually look good, uh, that you don't have to pay for, and you don't need to be good at Photoshop or even own Photoshop to do them. And in order to create them, we're going to use several tools. The first one is called Canva, and Canva is a free photo editing tool that's very newbie friendly. Uh, you, don't, you really don't need to be good at design to create something that looks more or less decent. Uh, then we're going to use Unsplash, which is a source of free stock images that you can use without giving any attribution. So you can just take them and do whatever you want with it. So that's the two tools we're going to use right now. And in that case study, I'm going to take this blog post, which is nine positive thinking tips, the power of positi positivity, sorry, on your health, on our website, Health Ambition. And we're going to create a cover image for it because the current one looks absolutely terrible. So let's go and fix that site. The first thing you want to do when you log on to Canva is click on the More button. And you will see that there are different formats that you can use. And, you know, there is one for block title, which, you know, by definition should be the one you should be using. But I advise against it because it's actually very small. Uh, it's 560 by 315 pixels, which means that on HD screens, it's not going to look good. Uh, it's not going to look good when you share it on Facebook and so on. And the main role of your cover image is to look good when the post is shared so that you get more clicks from social and you get more traffic from social. That's, that's the reason why you're investing all this time in there. So I recommend you use the Facebook ad format, which is 1200 by 627 pixels. So I'm going to click on that and get started with that. And the reason for that is it's going to look perfect when I share it on my social media. Now, there are a bunch of templates that you could start from. So see, I can just drag and drop it, and then I can start clicking the elements and editing them. It's very simple. But in that case, I'm going to start from scratch completely. Just a note about Canva as well, not all the templates are free. So for example, this one is a paid one. And you know it because the background image has this little grid and says Canva on top of it. And they're going to ask you for a dollar when you want to download the image. So be careful with that. Uh, as long as you replace the stock images, it's 100% free. So yeah, that's up to you. Now I'm going to go back to a blank Canva and I am going to add the image I found on Unsplash. And I already uploaded it so I can just drag and drop it on there. Now you'll be telling me, well, it's not really fitting. Well, the good news is it's a very high resolution image. So I can actually stretch it out and it still looks okay. Even though on my editor, it doesn't look amazing. That's because um, it's not re-rendered. That's why, but otherwise it is a good looking image, no matter, no matter the size I'm resizing it at right now. So I have that image. Now what I want to do is I want to add some text to explain what the blog post is about because that image doesn't really do a great job at it. It's just an inspirational image in that case. So I'm going to go in text and here again, you can see there are plenty of different you know, text formats and I could grab one and then you can just double click it and start editing and so on. So you can go really fancy with Canva and this is all free. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and you can see if I keep scrolling, uh, I get a lot of options. Obviously they put paid stock images in between, which you know don't have much uh, uh, to do with text. But uh, yeah, if you want to use fancy stuff, you can. I like it simple. So I'm just going to take the text. And yes, it looks horrible right now, but let me just expand it a bit and write down my blog title. So nine positive thinking tips. That's my blog post basically. Now it's not very readable. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create some contrast. So you see here, the background is pretty dark and I'm trying to center it right now. Yeah, I guess this is going to be okay. It's pretty dark. So what you want to do is you want to make it clear. So I'm going to make it white. So now that it's white, it's a lot more readable, but it still doesn't look great. So what I will do now is I'm going to put a shape behind to kind of smooth the background and make it more readable. So I'm going to click on search and I'm going to click on shapes. And once again, there is a ton of different shapes. Now the problem is they're not all editable in all dimensions you may want to edit them in. And let me just show an example. Uh, let's say you wanted to take, um, let's say we wanted to take this shape uh, for background, but like it's, it's way too high for the lens. And I would want to just expand it here and reduce it here. And I couldn't, you can see I don't have the handle here. So it's a little bit uh, difficult. 
So what I need to do is I need to find a shape where I can actually do that, which you know is a little bit of a pain sometimes in Canva, but I'm sure I can find it. So these ones, no, but probably this one will let me, yeah. So this one lets me do that. So you can see I can just shrink it and put it that way, basically on top of my text. And then you click on the back button and you can see my text is going above it. Now, this is not really my brand colors. Uh, so what I can do is I can click on the little wheel here, click on the plus and then paste an hexadecimal code. And now these are my brand colors. Now, this is a little bit too green for me. So I will click on the little arrow here and add some transparency. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really overtake the whole thing. And I think the font is not very good. I think I want something that's more related to my site. And obviously I'm not going to use this image, but if you were, then you should probably use the same font on all your cover images, but something like courgette is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I like this one a lot actually. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to make it bigger. Yes. And then I'm going to take my shape and I'm going to adapt it to it. Oops. So let's try and grab the shape. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. You can see I'm, I'm just selecting the text now. So I'm actually going to have to move the text to do it. But hey, that's, that's how you do it. And I am going to take my text again and move it back in. All right, so now this is not going to win an award, but this tells people what it is and has some kind of cool eye catching image now. And usually what I like to do as well is I like to put at least part of my logo on the image, but you can see you cannot read the health ambition. So usually I just take the icon and put it here, except I make it a little smaller. So I make it a little smaller and then I like to put my icon here so people know who is posting this. And that's basically it. That's my image. I think it's good enough for now and I can click on download. I can download it as an image and I can upload it on my website. So that's how you create a free blog image for your website that you can use to show on social media and get a lot more clicks through rate. All right, so now that I've put the image on the post, I wanna show you what happens when someone shares it on social media. You can just paste the URL and you can see I did nothing and my image is coming up. And when you share that kind of updates with people or when anyone shares the blog post, then you're going to get a lot more clicks on your post than if you have a random image. It's just the way it works. And that's the power of these cover images. And that's why I think you should invest some time in creating those. So I'll talk to you later. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we created a cheat sheet of the nine best email list building tools available for you to download. Most of these tools are 100% free and we collected 30,236 emails in the past six months using them. Click on the button on the screen or on the card if you're on mobile to download it. You can also click on the subscribe button below that video if you want to receive our next video tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.